there, I'm Teresa, AKA Lady T, recently released my first professional song, Road Less Traveled. You can go find it on Spotify. You can follow me um, on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. I will post those links down below. I just wanna thank you for joining me on my journey. On this channel, I am going to introduce you to seven aspects of life that I have learned to grow through. I didn't pick up my first instrument till I was 35 years old, so about seven years ago. And I just recorded my first professional song. I am releasing my second book. The first one was a collaboration called The Power of Bold. I will also put a link below for you to get that book. But I am getting ready to publish my first piece as a professional author. Now at 42 years old, married almost 20 years. I served in the church for over a decade and now I am a rock and roll performer. So there is a lot to this story and the reason why I'm bringing it to you now is because I understand the gifts that God has invested in me and how they are to impact the world in which we live today. Those things have come to a maturity and it is time to release what God has given me for you. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Teresa, AKA Lady T. If you did not catch the other previous videos on the topics of the seven aspects of life, inner healing and the chakras, how they correlate to even Christian scriptures or biblical scriptures, I should say. Um, I would like you to go back and catch up on those videos because today I am finishing up talking about the crown chakra or the energy of the magenta. I couldn't find anything really magenta in my closet. Um, so far, I have been trying to wear the color of the chakra that I'm talking about. I did my best. Um, if you've watched those videos, then you know I have explained that it is important to start at the root, being rooted and grounded in love, learning how to be grounded, working your way up, understanding the things that God has placed in your heart, understanding your holy God-like desires and passions, knowing who you are, that solar plexus, knowing who you are, who you're called to be, what your assignment is in the earth, being able to receive love, the heart chakra, receive pure love um, from creator, from source first, and then able to pour it out. That's how we know we are balanced in the heart. We don't have resentment, anger, bitterness, stress, anxiety. Yeah, some stress is normal in life, but overall, you've got peace, man, because you're balanced in the heart. That moves into a healthy uh, throat chakra, which, you know, we don't have to lash out at people. We don't have to say things we don't mean. We don't have to overassert ourselves because we don't feel heard or we're unimportant. So it leads into a balanced throat chakra where we actually begin to use our words to create life rather than death. Then we move into the third eye where we've now come to a place, our life is balanced, our pleasures are in check, our goals are in check, we're at peace. We know who we are. We know whose we are. And now we can actually hear through our, we can see through our mind's eye. We can see through our spirit's eye. We can begin to discern spirit. We can begin to discern spirits. We can begin to move in our clairvoyant giftings. We can move in our um, prophetic giftings. Clairvoyant just means to see. We can move in our prophetic giftings for the greater good. When we understand them for ourselves, we're then able to move into the final aspect of who we are as spiritual beings in physical bodies. And that is our Christ ascension, our Christ mindedness, our ability to pick up our cross, to lay down our lives and to use our energy for the greater good of all people and the earth. It's our job to steward the earth. But while we're busy trying to get our needs met and find value and be someone in this big world, we're stuck in these other places and they're not flowing and we're not really leaving a positive imprint on the world. We're not 
really creating a lasting legacy that's going to leave the world in a better place. But I'm here to tell you that it's not too late. It is not too late to find out what's your assignment. What did you come to this world to do? It's not too late, but you have to start at the beginning. You can't fast forward. You can't bypass the trials. You cannot pass go and collect $200. Beloveds, you have to do the work. But I want to be here for you. I want to help you. I want my music to inspire you, to lift you up, to encourage you, to bring you joy. I want my books and the things that I write and I share on my social media to also give you hope, ideas, inspiration. I hope the things that I produce bring a smile to your face. And on the contrary, sometimes I hope that they rub you the wrong way. Because when we are rubbed the wrong way, we can see the part of ourselves that we haven't surrendered. We can see the part of ourselves that needs to be looked at a little closer. We can see the part of ourselves that God is calling us to bring into the light. I don't seek to offend anyone, but I know where I stand. I know whose I am. I know who I am. And I know what I'm here to do. And the beautiful thing is I'm still growing. And as I grow, my vision becomes more clear. My intention, my intentions, and my purpose um, becomes more defined. But I do have to sum it up with this. It is about the journey. It, your fulfillment. Your fulfillment is in the journey. But when you understand that the journey is not on a short timeline, the journey is on many timelines, outside of timelines, if that makes any sense to you. It's eternal. It's multidimensional. And when you've learned how to still yourself, how to balance your energy, how to be loved by God and love others, how to live in the space of being ascended, then you know you can live in a in a place of fulfillment. Apostle Paul said, if I have to stay in this body, then it's for your good. He was talking to the people he was teaching and growing, but I would so much rather be fully ascended in my light body with the one, with the lover of my soul, with God, with creator, with Yeshua. But while I'm here, I will be content. I will be fulfilled in what I know I am here to do. So at every stage of your life, whether you're in your 20s and you're just getting going and you're starting to get excited about finding your purpose or you're in your 30s and you're in the throes of marriage and motherhood and maybe it's not going that great for you or you're in your 40s and you feel like you've wasted your life or you're in your 50s and you're scared because you don't have a retirement plan or you're in your 60s and you're not feeling well or maybe you're in your 60s and you are feeling great but you still don't know what to do with your time. All of this is for you. So hang out with me long enough and listen, just like I do with any teachers or anybody that I listen to, I, I eat the meat and I spit out the bones, right? Just allow yourself to take in and digest a little bit at a time. And if it doesn't sit right with you, take it back to the Lord. And if I'm not your cup of tea, I'm not offended. So until next time, you guys take care.